National Herald, Dimitri and Costa, thank you for being here tonight. We appreciate that. I didn't ask them to come. They came on their own. So thank you. Oh, good. We also have some fellow board members who have dated the cities. Uh, Dini Wando, uh, Paul, Michael Simeonidis, Andrea Saba, um, did I miss anybody? Maria. And Andrew. And Maria, Maria Mandalakis. Maria Mandalakis. Yeah, as you know, the chamber is designed basically for networking and for people of a Hellenic descent to do business with each other. And one of the things is that we also want to impart knowledge about things that are important to everybody. And when uh, back in the fall, Maria and Michael and I and Andrew were sitting down trying to figure out what is a good subject. And taxes is always something people talk about. I think Ben Franklin said two things in life that are guaranteed death of taxes. Well, there is something called the uh, uh, factor, is the correct way we call it? The foreign asset. Now, uh, Greeks, they live here, they have property in Greece, and not just Greeks, anybody who has property overseas, the government says, hey, have you paid tax on that? And everybody has an attitude, what I earn here in the country, I pay tax on that. What I earn overseas, I pay tax there. Uh-uh. If you're a U.S. citizen, you got to pay tax on all income worldwide. Okay, so basically what I'm going to talk about tonight is um, two information filing requirements that as a U.S. citizen that you have. Um, one is something that a lot of people have probably have heard about. Um, the acronym is um, an FBAR. Uh, that's been around pretty much since the, the early 80s, but I think now you're, you're hearing a lot about it, a lot about it. Um, after the 9-11 the era, basically the U.S. government really wanted to find out what assets that people had abroad, you know, and so that's really where it started to come into play. And then probably um, in about 2006 or 2007, the IRS woke up and said, you know what, there's a lot of money out there. There are a lot of U.S. citizens that have assets abroad and Essentially, as what Paul was alluding to, is that when you have the assets abroad, they're probably also evading taxes. So, a U.S. person is basically a citizen or resident of the United States or a person in or doing business in the United States, which basically means an entity. So, when we talk about an FBAR requirement, it's not only an individual, a corporation, a partnership, a trust also could have a requirement. And if you look at the red circular circulated spot, you'll see that this is where they ask you if you have foreign assets. So a lot of times, tax preparers, individuals who file their own taxes and prepare their own forms, will just go down the form and check no, no, no for all of these. Um, so part of the penalty question is, is something, is the non-disclosure a uh, willful omission, or is it just something that was, you know, inadvertently not disclosed? Well. The basic tenet for this is that if you put no, 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 you willfully indicate that you have no foreign assets. So it becomes a lot more difficult to um, argue that you made a mistake. 